In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Sagot po kayo ng malakas ha. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And that your people, we pray, Almighty God, may be ever watchful for the coming of your only begotten Son, that, as the author of our salvation himself has taught us, he we may hasten, alert and with lighted lamps, to meet him when he comes, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I, the Lord, your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments 
your prosperity would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would be like the sand and those born of your stock like its grains. Their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to meet him. He is the Prince of Peace. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is a gluten and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. Friends, sisters, and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please visit him. <clears throat> Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Pakibati naman po ang inyong mga katabi ng isa magandang gabi. 
Sana gantong karami rin tayo no, sa mga susunod na walong araw. Magandang buhay naman no, sapagkat tayo ay naririto. Buhay naman no, sapagkat kayo ang unang-unang nagsimbang gabi dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawan. Sana tumagal tayo hanggang dulo. Ginagawa natin ito sapagkat nakagis na natin ito bilang mga Pilipino. Tayo ay naghahanda sa pag-celebrate natin ng Pasko. Pero merong sinabi dito sa ating Ebanghelyo, Wisdom is vindicated by her works. Sapagkat ni-reject ng mga Israelites si John the Baptist kasi masyadong masidhi, masyadong matindi yung kanyang pag-aayuno. Ayaw nila noon. Pero nang nagpunta ang Panginoon, kumakain, nakikihalubilo sa mga makasalanan, sa mga tax collectors, ganun din. He is a gluten and a drunkard. Sana, uh, ano tawag dito? Uh, sala sa init, sala sa lamig. Ganun ang kanyang description sa kanilang generation. Ano ba ang gusto? Diba? Dalasan tayo ganun din, sala sa init, sala sa lamig. Ano ba ang gusto natin? Pero don't worry. Alam ko namang lahat na nagsisimba at uh, nagdidibusyon for nine days at kukumplituhin ang simbang gabi. Kayo rin ay nagkaroon na ng choice. Kaya nga kayo ay naandito. Gusto niyong sumunod sa Panginoon. Gusto, niya, gusto nating intayin ang pagdating ng Panginoon muli sa araw ng Pasko. Pero ano ba yung wisdom na yan? Kapag sinabi natin kasing wisdom, di ba? Kadalasan sa Tagalog ang ibig sabihin ng wisdom, wise. Wise, di ba? Wise. Marami sa atin ang wise sa kalakaran ng mundo. Wise. Matalino. Kuminsan nga, tuso. May magandang salita ang mga Pilipino tungkol sa talagang tuso. Eh. Alam nyo ba yung sweetik? Hindi maiisahan yung mga sweetik, di ba? Pagka sinabi ikaw ay sweetik, siguro naman hindi negative yung sweetik, pero hindi ka maiisahan. In other words, siguro, nung mga ibang panahon, naisahan ka. Kaya, wais ka na ngayon, natuto ka na. Kaya ano ba talagang ibig sabihin ng wisdom o being wise? Kadalasan kasi yung mga medyo nakakatanda na sinasabi natin, Because of their age, because of their experience in life, they are considered wise. But when we say a person is wise, lalong lalo na sa panahon ngayon, meron tayong tinatawag na AI, artificial intelligence. Napakatalino talaga ng mga tao. Nung unang panahon, wala pa yung AI. Nag-aaral pa lang ako, wala pa yung AI. Pero ngayon, may AI na. Pwede nang gumawa ng thesis. Kaya nga, sa aming pagtuturo, alam ko, kumisan yung mga estudyante, i-google lang yung ipinapagawa ko, wala, andyan na, assignment na. Kaya sinasabihan ko sila, huwag kayong mangdadaya, ha? Kung kayo man ay nag-google, ilagay ninyo kung saan ang galing. Kasi meron naman kaming paraang i-check, eh, kung kayo ay nagpe-plagiarize o nangongopya lamang, or cut and paste, di ba? Kaya kahit na mali-mali yung grammar, alam namin, pagka perfect yung grammar, nako, sigurado yan. Titingnan namin kung ilang percent ang kinopya at hindi original. Siyempre, kailangan marunong ka, di ba? Kailangan nag-aaral ka. Kailangan medyo may konting originality. Kapag ka more than 50 percent hindi original, eh, meron tayong issue doon. Hindi ka papasa, di ba? So what is wisdom? Hindi yan artificial intelligence. Hindi rin yan yung tinatawag nating marites, mare, ano ang latest. Hindi, alam mong lahat, di ba? Pero yung mga alam mo naman ay walang significance sa buhay mo o sa buhay ng ibang tao. Hindi rin yan ang wisdom. So ano ba yung wisdom? Lalong-lalo na kapag sinabi natin, in God there is, we cannot say that God is wise. No, because God is wisdom. Mas mahirap yun sapagkat ang ating lamang kaalaman ay ang karunungan ng tao. Maaring nakukuha sa pag-aaral, sa pagbabasa ng libro, sa pakikinig sa mga wise people. 
Kaya nga sabi ko, ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng wisdom? I will give you some quotes that I got from the internet. For example, isip tayo ha, pakinggan nyo mabuti. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Diba? Mapapaisip tayo. Oo nga, ano? Yung pagtingin natin sa isang bagay, palitan natin ang ating perspective, nagbabago yung bagay. Yan, wisdom saying yan. Ito, doon sa mga hirap na hirap na bumilib sa kanilang sarili. Believe and act as if it were impossible to fail. O diba? Kapag ka tayo natatakot gumawa ng isang bagay dahil mahirap, isipin mo na lang. Manalig ka, maniwala ka. Gawin mo ang dapat gawin at sabihin mo sa sarili mo, imposibleng ako'y mag-fail. Ito pa isa, about integrity. Do the right thing. Do the right thing, ha? Even when no one is looking. That is called integrity. O nga naman, di ba? Kasi kuminsan tayo patago. Titing ng prami, nakakakita ba sa akin? O, halimbawa, nakapulot ka na isang libo. Titingin ka muna, di ba? You have to do the right thing. Hindi sa iyo, do isoli mo. Kanino, Father? Kung kanino man, di ba? Baka mamaya, andun lang yung tao na laglag lang, nasundan mo, di ba? Number four, mistakes are proof that you are trying. So yung mga pagkakamali, hindi naman talaga negative. So don't be discouraged. It is evidence that we are struggling and that we are trying. Positive, di ba ba? Ito nakakatawa. Laughing is the best medicine. But if you are laughing without any reason, you need medicine. O, di ba? Pagka tayo tumatawa, wala namang nakakatawa. Uminom ka na ng gamot. Finally, be strong enough to stand alone. Ayaw nating umasa sa iba eh, di ba? But be smart enough to know when you need help and brave enough to ask for it. Di ba? Those are wise sayings. Kaya nga pagka ito'y ating uh, ginawa sa ating buhay, naging nag-subscribe tayo sa mga naririnig nating wise sayings, we will also become wise. Alam niyo pala isipan din sa akin ang ibig sabihin ng wisdom o karunungang tunay. Sapagkat, siyempre, hindi naman natin mauubos, maisip kung ano ang ibig sabihin ni Jesus when He said, Wisdom is vindicated by her works. They were rejected. Si John the Baptist rejected. Si Jesus rejected. Pero sabi niya, hmm, Wisdom is vindicated by her works. Makikita natin niya sa ating first reading. Ano sabi ng Panginoon? If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would be like the sun and those born of your stock like its grains. Hindi mabibilang. Their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. Yun, di ba? Kapag ka naging matatag ka sa iyong mga pinapaniwalaan, kapag ikaw ay talagang sumunod sa Panginoon at sa Kanya sinasabi, those will be your rewards. Sa aking pag-intindi sa ibig sabihin ng wisdom, alam ninyo, uh, makikita natin yan sa pagmamahal ng isang ina sa kanyang anak. Makikita rin natin yan sa buhay ng mahal na birhen, si Mama Mary. Seven times, di ba, meron tayong kinatawag na seven sorrows of the Blessed Virgin. Doon sa mga tagpong yun, doon sa mga instances na yun, doon sa mga inkwentrong yun, hindi naman niya naintindihan lahat ang ibig sabihin, di ba? Halimbawa, sa Annunciation, How can this be? Why is ang Blessed Virgin? How can this be? I have 
no relations with a man. Nagtanong siya. And inexplain sa kanya ng anghel. Sa huli, ano kanya sinabi? Let it be done according to the will of God. And the angel departed from her. Tinago rin niya yun sa kanyang kalooban, sa kanyang puso. Nung nawala si Jesus, di ba? Why did you do this to us? In explain ni Jesus, I should be in my Father's house. Di niya naintindihan. Kinimkim na lamang ng mahal na birhen sa kanyang puso ang ibig sabihin ng pakanyang anak na sinabing, I have to be in my Father's house. Kaya yung mga nanay dito, uh, palagay ko, alam nyo rin ang ibig kong sabihin. Kung papaano nyo mahalin ang inyong mga anak, lahat naman tayo may nanay, di ba? Meron nga tayong sinasabi na kahit na pangit ng isang tao, a mother can never reject that child. Even if you only have the face, a mother could love. Ganun ang pagmamahal ng isang ina. Meron ho kaming isang uh, nakasama namin noon sa seminaryo. Uh, meron siyang kapatid na itatago na lamang natin sa pangalang Ramon. Uh, malaki silang isang, sila isang malaking pamilya. I think they are nine in the family. Ang tatay nila isang military. So you can imagine, di ba, kapag ka military ang tatay mo, stricto. Kadalasan wala siya sa bahay. Nanay lamang ang natitira. Close din ho kami doon. Pumupunta kami kapag kapasko, kapag kami birthdays. Uh, tapos, they all were successful. They finished. Except for one. Basta nagkagulo ang buhay nung isang yon ay tinatawag natin yung black sheep. Di po ba? Black sheep. To make the story short, a long story short, uh, so, may kanya-kanya ng buhay yung walo natira na lang sa bahay ay yung isang si Ramon. Kasama niya yung nanay niya noon. At siya ay nalulong sa masamang bisyo. Parang istorya ng anak. Okay? Masamang bisyo. Broken family. Yung kanyang mga anak, kanyang asawa, iniiwan din siya. So, nung medyo after some years, okay pa nung naandun ang kanyang nanay, nasa kanyang tabi. At uh, kumisa nagtatantrums, nagwawala, nagdadabog. Pupunta sa garahe, i-islam yung pinto ng sasakyan. Basta dabog ng dabog, nag-iingay sa bahay, nakakaya sa kapitbahay. Alam nyo, sasabihin lang ng nanay, Ramon. Yung pangalan lang niya, Ramon. Hihinto ang tantrums. Tahimik. E yung mga kapatid, sabi, Ma, ini-spoil nyo yan eh. Binibigay ka, binibigyan ka namin ng pera para pasagamot mo, para makakain ka ng masarap, etc. etc. Hindi mo naman ginagawa. Ibinibigay mo lang pang tusto sa vision yan. O di ba? Practical yung mga kapatid. Walang imik ang nanay. Nakatungo lang na ganun. Andyan yung perang binigay nila. Alam nyo na kung saan pupunta yung perang yun. Maaring sa bisyo ni Ramon. Hindi natin alam. E kaso, sinamampalan na wala na si Ma. So wala nang tatawag kay Ramon ng Ramon. Yung nanay na yun, kilala ko po siya, napakabait. Sabi ko sa inyo, siya yung tatay at nanay kapag kawala yung kanyang husband. So napakahirap, di ba? Siyam sila, biro nyo i-discipline nyo yun. Pero lahat ng yun, lahat ng paninisi ng mga kapatid dahil hindi niya ginagastos yung perang binibigay nila sa kanyang pagkain o di kaya sa kanyang medicines. Kinimkim niya yun. Doon ko nakikita ang ibig sabihin ng wisdom sa pagmamahal ng isang ina sa isang alibughang anak. And perhaps some of you here have experienced that too. Di ba? Kahit nga ho ako, naaalala ko rin yung nanay ko. There was a time kasi, at least during our generation, ayaw naming matawag na mama's boy. So kuminsan iniiwan ko yung nanay ko. Ayaw ko makita ng mga kaklasiko na 
sinusundo pa ako sa eskwelahan ng nanay ko, di ba? Mama's boy. Samantalang iba, independent na. Ganon ako kamahal ng nanay ko. Nung magpapasok ako sa seminary, siyempre, alam niyo naman ang mga nanay, eh, na, ako, na lang, ako na lang isang kahuli-hulihang magdadala ng aming pangalan. Sabi ko, nai, search in ako sa Santo Domingo. Anong search in? Yan. Uh, susubukan ko hong mag-apply bilang pare o seminaryan. Sabi ko, matanda na ho ako, I can make my own decisions. Again, to make a long story short, walang imik si nanay. Crayola na lang. Umiyak, sabi niya, iiwanan mo ako. Hindi naman, sabi ko, drama mo naman, nai. So ma- makikita natin, inyong balikan kung paano kayo minahal ng inyong mga nanay, kung, kung paano yung mga nanay na ra- naririto, kung paano mahalin ang kanilang anak. Iba sa pagmamahal ng ama. Kasi ang ama, provider yan eh. Pero yung nanay, dahil sa siyam na buwan, kinarga sa kanyang sinapupunan, alam. Matindi ang karunungan, ang wisdom ng isang nanay. Ako nga eh, nung lumalaki ako, nung bata pa ho ako, pagka wala akong imik, I am inactive, nakaupo lang sa isang sulok, sasabihin ng nanay ko, may nararamdaman ka na naman, ano? True enough. May lagnat. O di kaya masakit ang tiyan. Basta may iniinda. Hindi ko naman sinasabi. Pero sa lukso ng dugo ng nanay ko, alam niya, And I think that is the wisdom of God. We can perhaps imagine, pa, paano ba tayo minahal ng Diyos? God is here to redeem us long haul, matagal. Ang pasensya ng Diyos, kung ang nanay ay mapagpasensya, hindi na uubos ang pasensya. Karamihan sa atin kasi nawawala ng pasensya, hindi po ba sa sarili natin, sa ibang tao. Pero ang Diyos... Ilang libong taon na na nagpapakilala sa atin, sinaselebrate ang Pasko. Isn't that wonderful? Mapagpasensya ang Panginoon sa atin. Mahaba ang pasensya, hindi na uubos. Natawa ako sapagkat naalala ko ang sinasabi ng aking lola nung siya'y nabubuhay pa. At ah, uh, Every time he go, she goes to the toilet for her morning rituals, binubuksan namin yung pinto kasi matanda na po eh. Tapagka sinabi niyang, salamat sa Diyos. In other words, success. So tinanong ko sa lola ko, Lola, bakit kailangan magpasalamat sa Diyos pagka tayo ay nagmumove ng ating bowels? Sabi niya, hindi, illiterate yung lola ko, sabi niya. Aba, sabi niya, eh kung hindi lumabas lahat ng mga kinain mo, Is it that wise? Alam ko naman yun eh, di ba? Pero sinabi niya, dapat magpasalamat ka sa Diyos kasi you can do what nature has asked you to do. Pa, paano nga naman kung hindi lumabas yun? Di ba? Kayo ba nagpapasalamat sa Diyos pagka nakaupo kayo sa trono? Dalasan hindi, di ba? But come to think of it, it is wisdom of the old people. Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon, wisdom is vindicated by her works. Wisdom is vindicated by her works. Ngayon tayo ay naghahanda para sa pagdating ng Pasko. Walong tulog na lang at walong gising na lang. A last uh, wise saying, sinasabi sa atin kagaya din ang sinabi ni John, sa kanyang pag-testify sa Panginoon. Don't shine. Do not shine so that others can see you. Shine so that through you, others can see Jesus. Again, don't shine so that others can see you. Shine so that through you, others can see Jesus. We now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. 
In faith, we now make our petitions to the Father, whose concern is that all people accept his invitation to the banquet of eternal life in heaven. For each intention, we shall say, Lakas po natin ha! Lord, draw us to you. Lord, draw us to you. That the church and earth may continue to grow and draw more people to the feast of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, draw us to you. That the rich and the poor alike may not make excuses to evade the call of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, draw us to you. That we may respond to the call for repentance with sincerity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, draw us to you. That all of us may be committed to the cause of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, draw us to you. For the intentions of this Mass and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, draw us to you. That the dead may live in the house of the Lord and rejoice in the banquet of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, draw us to you. May I also ask you to pause for a few moments of meaningful silence to pray for our mothers in a very special way. And we pray, Lord, Lord draw, draw us, us to you. you. Heavenly Father, you invite us to be with you in your kingdom. As we pray for others, help us to bring them with us to that banquet set forth by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, sagot po kayo ulit ng malakas ha. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that...
his auxiliary bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Mga kapatid, nakita niyo naman ang mga tala, ang mga kumikinang na ilaw. Pagpasok niyo pa lang sa simbahan, napakaliwanag na. Pero sa pagbibigay natin ng sign of peace, liliwanag lalo ang simbahan at ang mga tao sa ating paligid kung tayo ay magshishare din 
ng sincere smiles on our faces. Unang simbang gabi, magandang buwe naman no, ang nakangiti palagi. So let us now offer to one another Christ's sign of peace. Sa inyo pong lahat, peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, dear friends, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, brothers and sisters, fellow pilgrims, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa amin sa pagdaraos ng misang ito. At sana po ay uh, sa mga susunod na araw, kayo rin ay kukumpleto ng siyam na araw na pagsisimbang gabi. Thank you very much for making me enjoy offering and saying this Mass for you. At sana po ay uh, sana po ay huwag tayong magsawa na Mag-alay din ng mga panalangin, hindi lamang para sa ating mga sarili, kundi para sa mga kaibigan din natin, sa mga mahal natin sa buhay. And uh, makakaasa naman po kayo na kami dito sa Dominican Community ay palagi ring naalaala ang inyong mga panalangin every time we gather for prayer. So sabi sa ating gospel, wisdom is vindicated by her works. Kung naiwan ninyo ang inyong mga nanay sa bahay, Surprise her by planting a kiss on her cheeks. Tingnan natin ko anong sasabihin ng inyong mga nanay. Perhaps you will also experience ang ibig sabihin ng wisdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As usual, pakisabi rin po, pabaunan nyo rin ang inyong mga katabi ng The Lord be with you bago tayo magkahiwahiwalay.
And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Holy Eucharist. We go in peace to glorify the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon at ang mahal na Birhen. Ngayon naman po ay ating datasalin ang blessing of the sick. Kung kayo ay may nararamdaman sa inyong kalooban, kung kayo ay nagdadalamhati, kung kayo ay may nararamdaman, o di kaya kayo ay nananalangin para sa inyong mga mahal sa buhay na naiwan sa bahay, may I invite you to put your right hand over your heart as we pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kayo po ay merong mga religious articles na ipapabless. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed. And for those who will use them, be made holy too, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.